we are going to do the experiment relating to uh, focal length of a convex lens. So the aim of your experiment is uh, to find the focal length of a convex lens by plotting a graph between u and v or between 1 by u and 1 by v. So this is the aim of your experiment. The first thing you have to do is you have to write the aim of the experiment. This is one thing you have done. Now, in the next part what you will do, you are supposed to draw the diagram, any ray diagram for one of the situations you, uh, we have, we know that. So you have to draw one ray diagram relating to the, it's a simple ray diagram which, which you have to draw uh, in this experiment and, uh, and thereafter we will move on to the next part that is observations. In observations what we are doing, we are first finding the rough focal length of the convex lens and it has to be mentioned in the first part of the report. The first reading of this experiment is the rough focal length of a convex lens by distant object matter. So this is what we need to do first and thereafter we will proceed into the experiment and we will find the, ob uh, we'll, uh, we'll find the observations uh, or we will feed the observation data uh, for different different positions. So there are five different positions where I am going to place my object needle. Object needle will be placed beyond 2f, two, uh, two, uh, two positions of beyond 2f and one at 2f and remaining two will be below 2f. So this is how we can, uh, this is all about the experiment what we are doing in this uh, part of the experiment, right? Students, now we are going to do uh, find our focal length of this uh, lens uh, using distant object method. And the uh, focal length calculated using this method will be your rough focal length. So we are going to find the rough focal length of this lens. Okay. So how to find the rough focal length? Well, what we will do, we will assume any tree, distant tree, as my object, and we will find the, we will assume that as an object, and we will try to focus the image of that object onto the screen on the right part of the or on the other side of the lens. Now so see I'm, uh, what I am doing, so I am placing this in the same time also, I am placing my uh, convex lens above the scale and I am moving it backwards and you can see on the screen, on the screen your image is, there is a variation in the image, there is a variation in the image and uh, you will arrive at a point where you will get best image or best sharp clear image and you will stop. And you can even see the, you can even see the movement of the branches of the tree, branches of the tree and that, that place you are going to stop. And you will find the distance between the screen and the lens that will be called as the focal length of this lens or also called as the uh, rough focal length of this lens. So we know that what is focal length, focal length is nothing but it is the distance between the principal focus and the optic center of the lens. So you can write this reading into the observations, that's all. Okay, so we are going to discuss to, uh, now uh, how to place the object needle onto this uh, optical bench. So I am placing the object needle, you can see I am placing the object needle onto the optical bench and I am placing at a distance of around 20 centimeter, 27 centimeter, 27 centimeter from the optic center. and it is beyond 2f, our f is actually uh, 10, so 2f will be 20 and uh, 27 is the object distance of this needle, this is called as my object needle and it is placed at distance 27 centimeter from the optic center, right. Now you are, at the same time when you place the object needle, uh, object needle, you have to also see that the tip of this object needle is, it should be coinciding with the level of optic center also. So to, you can do this uh, using a scale, using a scale you can do the, uh, you can coincide the tip of uh, this needle with the optic center in this way and using the screw I can adjust the level of, you can you can do adjust the uh, level of this uh, tip moving up and down using the screw and there is one more screw available uh, on this uh, setup that uh, <laughs> we can move sideways, right. So. Let us observe the image of this needle placed at the optic, uh, placed at the, uh, exactly the tip is coinciding with the optic center and let us see it on the other side of the lens. So we will try to observe the image of the, on the other side of the lens. So let us see the image so form. The, in, uh, the image will be a inverted image and I can show you the, I will focus using my camera. 
You can see the inverted image. I hope you can see the image. Yes, sir. we are getting the optic. Uh, we are getting the inverted image. You can see that. Okay, students. Uh, now we are going to discuss uh, how to place the image needle to locate the position of the image. So we will place the image needle, which is similar to that of optic needle, on the other side of the lens, such that here also we will adjust the tip of this image needle, coinciding with the tip of the optic center using the scale that can be done. Roughly, you can do the adjustment of the coincidence of the tip of this needle, image needle and the optic center that way you have to adjust the height of this tip and after doing that after doing that you will move to the image end of the needle you will observe from the image end of the needle along the length of the along the length of this optical bench we will observe the and we will try to make the coincidence between the we will try to make the coincidence between the uh, the inverted image, the tip of the inverted image, and the tip of this image needle. You can see the inverted image, and we coincide the tip of the inverted image with the tip of this needle. Get the coincidence that way, and then you will see something different here. You will get the coincidence by moving sideways. If suppose it is not coinciding, you can move sideways. You can move sideways using the sideways screw, and also, you can, if there is a separation between the two tips, you can also adjust by taking using the upper screw. I can make the contact of the two tips. Right? Now, let us try to see. But this this would not be the position of the image here. Image will be falling anywhere. We don't know where it is falling. Okay? So, how to locate the position of the image using this image needle? So, let us see to it how to do it now. So, I'll show you the image. I'll show you the image here. I will show you the inverted image, the coincidence between the invert, inverted image and the tip. You can see the coincidence of the inverted image and the tip. The image is not that clear. We will try to bring proper clarity of this. So I got uh, the contact between the two tips here and here you will uh, stop here and what you will do, you will move sideways, you will going to move sideways, uh, uh, you will move your eye sideways to this needle, you will see some separation between the image, inverted image and the uh, real image, image needle and you have to remove the separation, this separation is also called as parallax and we need to remove this parallax. If you move sideways to this image needle, you will see some separation between the uh, the inverted image and this ima image needle. So we have to remove this uh, separation by moving by moving uh, forward and backward. We can remove this uh, separation. So I will remove it by moving for forward and back. That you can see that you can ensure uh, when you you will move in that direction where the separation reduces between the two needles. So you will I know that I am moving it here in that particular direction and I am reducing the separation. When I am reducing the separation, you will arrive at a point where what you will see, the separation is completely removed between the image needle and the inverted image of the object. And you will see the two things are moving together. You will arrive at a point where the inverted image and the image needle move together and this, this, this is called as parallax removed, removal situation. This is called as parallax removal situation and at this point you will stop and this is the point where the image is located. The image is falling exactly above the image needle. The inverted image of the object is falling exactly above the image needle. And here you will stop. And you will take down the readings of this 
you will take down the readings of this image needle with respect to with respect to you can take down the readings of this uh, uh, needle with respect to the uh, uh, lens of the uh, lens of with respect to the lens and using a scale we can find it so let us find it let us find the distance between the lens and the cur and the image needle this is called as my image distance and this image distance is of the value 17.5 cm you will write it as 17.5 cm as the image distance hence this is the reading this is your first reading corresponding to the situation so uh, we have taken the reading uh, for the first case uh, that was uh, the object the object distance was 27 so i will write the reading as 27 minus 27 since it is falling to the left of convex lens so it will be written as minus 27 and which is greater than 2f it is greater than 2f so just for the sake of understanding i am writing this as 2f no need to write this and corresponding image distance uh, we are getting as 80 in our case for 27 we are getting as 18 which is plus 18 which is falling to the other part of the or right part of the lens it will be positive as per sign convention ok so this is how first reading will be written then similarly we will also take uh, the new object distance as minus 24 which is again greater than 2f again greater than 2f that is 20 centimeter and corresponding image distance will be found using parallax uh, method where we are removing the parallax ok and we can find the uh, image distance as 70 and thereafter the third reading will be taken as at 2f that is 20 centimeter we will place the object needle at 20 centimeter and automatically you will get the image at 20 centimeter also so if it is a correct focal length or if our focal length is a correct focal length you will get at 20 centimeter otherwise you will get somewhere else ok it can be 20.5 or 20.1 also it depends so it depends uh, uh, in different cases so whatever you are getting practically you will write that as your reading ok so your first second and third reading is done now for fourth and fifth no need to go for no need to go for uh, taking new reading fresh readings simply you have to copy the first reading as my fourth reading I will just reverse the order here, here, here 18 uh, is my image needle image distance can be seen as can be considered as my object distance and you reversing the reading you will get the corresponding image distance if I, play, if I assume my uh, object distance as 18 cm you will automatically get you can verify also in the experiment you can verify also if you want uh, that your image distance will be 27 cm and similarly we can reverse the reading for the second option the second reading will become the fifth one by reversing the readings so minus 70 will be your object distance and corresponding object uh, image distance will be 24 and in this way we will have all five readings so you have to perform only for these three readings and remaining two readings can be copied from the first two readings first two readings by reversing them so i hope uh, the reading part is done and after that you will calculate one by u and one by v and uh, actually uh, you, this is the rarest thing, uh, usually examiners never ask about it but if you have time you can do calculate this also it is not required but uh, if you give this uh, the details uh, it is good if you have time you can do this also no problem but we are not going uh, to uh, draw this uh, part of the column so please uh, remove this column ok it is not required it is only uh, for the sake of understanding ok so let us move on to the next part after finishing this observation table after finding u by 1 by u and 1 by v we will move on to the graph section now what is graph section we have got in the graph of uh, v versus u the first graph is v versus u v versus u so your uh, v will be your on, on y axis and u will be your x axis now this is falling on the second quadrant why it is falling on the second quadrant because your object distance is negative and corresponding image distance is positive so it will be the negative x-axis and positive y-axis. It is a graph of v versus u. We will draw it like now. We will plot the graph like this. Now when you plot the points on this graph, you will get the points like this. And when you connect the point, you will get a curved graph, a hyperbola. You will get a hyperbola like this. And this is the graph you will get, final graph you will get. And what you will do in this graph? how to take focal length from this graph, how to calculate focal length from this graph 
you will what you will do you will draw a line uh, making angle 45 degree and intersecting with this curve at any point and let's say it is uh, intersecting at some point this point is fundamentally it has to if it is a correct graph it has to be minus 2f comma 2f so you will drop two perpendiculars on both the axis at e and b and using this formula using this formula f is equal to oa by t oa by 2 if you divide oa by 2 you will get the focal length similarly here also ob by 2 you will get the focal length so almost your focal length will be near about 10 centimeter you will get it not exactly 10 centimeter it can be anything so whatever uh, value you are getting that is the actual focal length you calculate it using the graph okay so this is my first graph second graph is 1 by v versus 1 by u so in exam they will ask one of the two not both the graphs will be asked one of the two will be asked it depends it depends on the exam so both the graphs will be uh, uh, not asked to be drawn at the same time one of them will be asked okay but you have to understand both the graphs okay because we don't know which graph is going to come so we have to remember, uh, understand this two graphs also, second graph also the second graph is 1 by v versus 1 by u again here uh, u is negative so it will be falling in the second quarter and if you plot this graph you will get a straight line you will get a straight line if you found that you will get the points like this it has to come on a straight line if you connect all this point to this straight line and this a straight line is intersecting the two axes at two different points or the, this is also called as intercept at A and intercept at B now reciprocal of this intercept that is 1 by OA and 1 by OB will, will give you the focal length in this way will be uh, calculating the focal length from this uh, 1 by V versus 1 by U graph so this completes the experimental uh, calculations from the graph of focal length and later on you will write at the end of the reading you will write the result result will be the focal length of what is the result of this experiment is the focal length of my uh, lens is as 10 centimeter you have achieved from the given two graphs so you have to write this as your result and calculation is this is the calculation part this is a calculation part this is considered an you have to show this calculation to me so in this way this completes the experiment so let us uh, end this experiment now thank you so much